right hello hello how are you today let's adjust the camera how are you today all right i'm also fine thank you all right so today we are moving on remember if i say how are you what is your response i am fine thank you all right how are you i am fine thank you never forget that i am fine thank you if i say ask you how are you all right are you happy remember if i said are you then the question the answer is going to be yes or no remember are you happy are you happy are you happy very good are you sad are you sad? Are you excited? Very good. If someone asks you a question and they say, are you? Then the answer is going to be yes or no. All right. So you don't just look at, look at them like this. If they say, are you, are you teacher school? Yes, I am teacher school. All right. Are you happy? Yes, I am happy. All right, so today we are moving on to more complex questions, not just the questions that we need an answer that is yes or no, all right? But we are moving on to more complex questions, all right? We are moving to more questions, all right? Let's see if this one shows on the screen the whole of it. Okay, let's adjust it. Very good. All right, so... Today we are moving to questions that are more complex. All right. Let's start with the question that says, let's start with the question that says, um, where, where, all right? So the question is where? Where? All right. So every time, um, I'm going to adjust that so that you see me because this is very important, right? Every time when they are asking you a question and they say where, you have to answer with the name of the place, right? Every time when someone says where, and then you answer with the name of the place, all right? So where requires you to answer with the name of the place. All right. For instance, they would ask you, where is your school? It's a Tengfa. Tengfa. All right. Where is your... Uh, okay. Where is my hand? Where is my hand? It's on the board, all right? Where is, where is my hand? Where is my hand? It's on the board, all right? Where is your hand? It's on your pocket if you put your hand like this, all right? So every time when you see a question and they are asking you a question and the question starts with where, it means that where is a name of a place? Where? Where is the ball? Okay, the ball is on the floor. Oh, where is your ball? Where is the ball? The ball is on teacher's school's hand, all right? But before then, the ball, where was the ball? The ball. So where is, when you are looking, where is the chair? Where is everyone? All right. So you're saying, where is everyone? So where is always the name of the place, the location? All right. Where is everyone? Now, I'm going to ask you a question. What is this? This is the helmet. All right. Where is the helmet? Where is the helmet? Where is the helmet? Uh, let's adjust the camera. Let's get a little closer. Where is the helmet? Where is the helmet? 
What's the answer to that? Where is the helmet? Where is the helmet? The helmet is, so that's a question. It's a question. The answer, answer, helmet. So every time when they're asking you, the last, the last word is what's going to be the, what they're asking you. So the answer is going to start with the helmet. So the answer is the helmet is on his, which is teacher school, head. All right. Where is the helmet? The helmet is on teacher's school's head. All right. Or it's on his head. This is the helmet. Where is the helmet? This is the helmet. It's on my head. All right. What is this? This is the face mask. Where is the face mask? All right. This is another question. Okay, so we're saying this is a face mask. So we say, where, where is the face mask? Where is the face mask? It's on my face or on my mouth. It's on my face because it's covering not only the face, but with the cheeks also. All right, so where is, so every time you're using where is, you are looking for something, all right? You are looking for something. You are looking for something. Every time when you're saying where, it means that you are looking for something. Where are we going this weekend? Where we are going to, to hike, all right? Oh, we are going to the beach, all right? Where are we going this weekend? We are going to the beach. So the question is, where are we going this weekend? Where is everyone? Everyone is sitting down. Where is everyone? Where are you? For instance, if your mother, if you're at home and then they're looking for you and they say, where are you? Where are you? All right, you say, I am here, I'm over here, all right? Where is the question that you ask when you are looking for a place, all right? So that's where, all right? Where is, where is the row? Where is the chair, all right? But now remember, remember, where is the place? Even when I say, where do I put the chair? Where do I put, where do I put the chair? Then you're saying, Put it here, all right? So these questions where, every time when you see this question where, you do not answer with yes or no, all right? You answer with the place. So you have to listen very carefully when someone says where. Where is the shop? You don't say no or you don't say yes, no. You don't answer it like that. When we say, where is the shop? Oh, then you think shop, shop. So your vocabulary has to be strong. You have to think now, what is a shop? Oh, a shop is where you take out the wallet and buy stuff. So that's a shop, you know? That's where you buy things. Oh, 7-Eleven or XP Mart. And then maybe you ask them and you say, oh, which shop are you looking for? All right? Which shop are you looking for? And then they will tell you, oh, actually, I am looking for Curry 4. Oh, you're like, oh, we don't have curry four here, but we've got 7-Eleven. We've got um, XP, Smart, XP Mart, all right? So, but it starts with, where is the shop? Or you're saying, where is your mask? Someone comes and they're not wearing a face mask. And then you think, you're not going to say no or yes, no. You're going to think now, what is the face mask? What is the face mask? Oh, the face. This is the face. Oh, the mask. This is the mask. Oh, face. Remember, this is the face. And this is the face mask. 
Oh, you're saying, oh, the face mask. Um, it's here in my pocket. Then you take the face mask and you put it on. You can't say yes or no when someone says, where is the face mask? Every time when they ask you where, it's going to be elaborated. Okay, you're going to have to think, what is the question? Where is the box? Hmm, the box. The box. Then you start thinking, what is the box? Um, the box. Uh, the box. And then you remember, oh, a box is something that looks like this. This is a box. Oh, then you look for a box. You're like, I remember teacher school said a box is like this. And you're saying, oh, the box, the box. Oh, there's no box. Sometimes there's no box around. But you're not going to say, if they ask you and you see that there's no box, and they ask you, where is the box? You don't say no. But you say, there is no box. All right? There is no box. All right? Very good. So you guys understand the question where? Where? All right? Where? This is the very, this is very easy to understand because it's just, it means nali, all right, in, in Chinese, nali, right? So that's what this question means. Where, and then you're adding something. Where is face mask? It just doesn't go with where. Unless someone said something and you say, huh, where? Someone said, hey, there is a fire. There is a fire. Or, and then you say, where? But you can also say, where is fire? So then you start running, all right? But you started by asking, where is the fire? Or you feel something smelling like fire. You know, hmm, I'm smelling fire. Where is fire? All right? So where? Don't forget, every time you are asked where, it's going to be a place. Where is the fire? Where is it coming from? Where is that smell? Hmm, I'm smelling something. Where does it come from? Maybe it's a rotten red, a red, or something like that. Something weird. All right? Do you understand? Do you is yes or no. Remember, I said, if I said, do you understand? It's going to be yes or no. Yes or no. All right? Do you understand? Yes or no. Do you understand? Where? All right, so we're done with the way question. All right, cool. Now we are going to a question of what. That one is not easy as the way. What? All right, what? Let's say what. All right, so this one, you're also not going to answer with yes or no, or uh, the school, the shop, the what. You know what I mean? Like, you have to answer this one. For instance, if someone says, what is your name? You can't say yes, all right? You can't say yes. What is your name? Right, then there you start answering elaborately. My name. My name. You're not going to say your name. You start with my name. All right? You start with my name. What is your name? All right? Or they would say, what, what school do you go to? And then you're going to say, I, remember you're not going to, okay, look at this. This is very interesting. Remember, you're not going to say you go to, all right? You're going to say I, because instead of you, you're saying I. I ask you, but you're going to answer and say I. Instead of you, you're going to say I go to, where do you go? Denfa. Denfa, elementary school. All right. What school do you go to? I go to Tengfa Elementary School. All right. So that's your answer. Another question that you can, they can ask you that starts with what? They can ask you a question. Um, um, what? 
what color is your t-shirt all right if they ask me that question what color is your t-shirt all right what color is your t-shirt my t-shirt you see i don't say loud your t-shirt all right so that's a question what color is your t-shirt and then the answer so this is the question then the answer is gonna say not your question but my t-shirt my t-shirt my t-shirt is blue full stop my t-shirt is blue all right if someone comes and say teacher school what color is your t-shirt and then i say my t-shirt is blue all right so this i'm gonna ask you throughout the year i will randomly ask you what color is your t-shirt remember this is a t-shirt every time what color is your t-shirt you have to know your color they are blue they're red they're yellow they're orange they're lemon they're brown they're gray they're pink they are all those sorts of colors they're violet okay so then i'm going to ask you what color is your t-shirt every day i will randomly ask five people one two three four five learners what color is your t-shirt all right what color is your t-shirt you can't say no you can't say no or yes you have to tell me my t-shirt is white my t-shirt is blue my t-shirt is yellow in my case this i am wearing a blue t-shirt today all right so that's that's a question of what what color is your t-shirt okay what color is your t-shirt let me see yeah what color is your t-shirt so another question is that they can ask you with what is they can ask someone you could go to a shop all right you could go to a shop and you want to buy bread and then they say um and then they say what what do you what do you want what do you want they say morning what do you want remember what do you want to buy you want to buy bread all right or you want to buy yeah let's stick on bread what do you want and they ask you they see you looking around and then they say what do you want you don't say you don't say the name of the place you don't say 711 or hello or uh, no or yes uh -uh. but you're going to be saying what do you want i want so you're not going to say you but you're going to say i want so that's going to be your answer i want bread all right if they ask you and you're in a shop what do you want i want bread all right but you're going to be asked this question if you are looking for something hmm, where is bread where is bread and then someone asks you what do you want if they didn't ask you you can ask them where is bread and then they will show you there is bread what bread do you want? Do you want brown bread or do you want white bread? All right. So do you understand what color? I mean, what uh, what do you want? So every time when you ask what, if the question starts with what, then the answer is going to be with what you want. All right. But when you are asked where, the answer would always be a name of the place. All right. Where is the ocean? The ocean is in the south. The ocean is in the north. All right. Where is South Africa in the map? Where is South Africa? Then you're pointing in the map. There, far at the far east. All right. So you would be asked that. Or they would ask and then someone is going to come and say, where is teacher school? And teacher school is upstairs in, in the staff room. All right. So you can't say yes, no. You ask them. You, you answer them by saying, teacher school is upstairs, all right? Or teacher school is downstairs. Or teacher school is not in the school today. Even when teacher school is not in the school, you don't say no. But you say, teacher school is not in the school today, all right? So remember, where 
answers with the place? What answers with the stuff that you want? What is that sound I hear? And then if you don't know what the sound is, you don't know, but you don't say no. You say, I don't know. If you know what the sound, you say, oh, that's the alarm. That's the phone. I hear the sound. Oh, that's the phone. It's a cell phone. All right. Oh, the smell. What? What is that smell? And then I'm smelling a paint on the wall. And you say, if you don't know what is this, then it's it's a problem. But normally you would know that's a paint. But the problem is to answer. And then you, when you answer, just say, when someone says, what is what is that smell? And you say, oh, it's a paint. All right. It's a paint. Fresh paint. All right. So very good. All right. All right. What color is the helmet? Remember you are very good. It's yellow. Very good. Where is the helmet? Where? By teacher school's hand. All right. Very good. Excellent. You guys are very good. I will see you next time. Where are you going after this? You're going to PE, physical education. All right. Goodbye.